Just know that there's a lot of love on our end, man. We watch your videos all the time. I mean, we talk to your off about how funny this shit is, bro. No. We love what you're doing. We you're coming up. You support us. It's, Just uh, keep the pedal to the metal, Brandon. You got to work as hard as you can. Bro, he's got like 10 videos in the vault. He just hired. Oh, yeah. Tell him. So tell us, Sam, about like how you're hiring employees and shit. Yeah, I'm hiring uh, two full-time employees. That, um, I'm buying a place. I'm going to be living with them. Because I've done yeah. everything alone completely. Like all my thumbnails, my clips, all my edits, my planning, my dealing with brands. So it'll really be cool to have some help. Just tr uh, treat it like a um, like a nine to five or like a better yet, an eight to six job where you're – because the, the problem with creative work is that a lot of people a lot of the time – You'll be like, oh, I want to. I only want to do this when I feel creative. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you really have to be chucking, chunking away at it like it's a, a blue collar job. And then um, also, when you start to get momentum, it, as soon as you start to get the tiniest shred of momentum, you have to just keep doubling down and keeping the pressure on because there's a limited there's a limited window to like when you're going to be famous. You know what I mean? Like you're not going to be. <clears throat> you're probably not going to have the same type of career or be making the same type of videos when you're 40 years old so you have to like if you're getting a little bit of shine and a little bit of money it's time to like start hammering it and um don't don't get discouraged if uh either of your employees or anybody that you have professional relationships with if if you catch people that like lose their minds because that's another thing is that when you work with creative type people a lot of the time you'll find people that are like talented but they're they have a screw loose and sometimes it can be hard to, you know, it might take you a year to realize that a screw's loose or whatever. And then you can have these kind of like meltdowns where people, people are like, they just haven't like, they're like, ah, I, I made the Brandon Buckingham channel. That's my, I'm responsible for those edits. Like a lot of, like a lot of weird stuff like that can start to crop up if you have the wrong people around you and just don't get, um, don't let that discourage you. Just if that ever happens to you, you just got to keep it moving. Just keep it moving. And, and just, Treat it like professionally. Like don't engage in um, that type of squabble with people. If that comes up, just imagine that you're like a CEO of a fucking company where you'd just be like, oh, that's a weird person. I can't be into that anymore. I have to go this way and just keep it moving. That's the last piece of advice that I have. Yeah, that's good advice for sure. Uh, I, I feel like I'm going to be learning a lot here because I've never had employees and I've always just relied on myself. So this is going to be a, a new chapter in the show.